Welcome to Campus Corner. I'm Perry So. The college football playoffs kick off later today with TCU and Michigan in the Fiesta Bowl and Ohio State versus defending champs Georgia in the Peach Bowl. But bowl season is for everyone, and our trio of local teams had their holiday fun. Just a few days ago, right here at Yankee Stadium, the Syracuse Orange faced off with the Minnesota Golden Gophers in the Bad Boy Mowers Pinstripe Bowl. Unfortunately for the Orange, the Gophers hit the ground running. Mohamed Ibrahim opened the game with a touchdown run en route to breaking Minnesota's all-time rush record. Garrett Schrader kept it close with a touchdown in the air and on the ground, but the Orange never took the lead. They end their promising season with a 28-20 loss to finish the year at 7-6. And earlier in the week, the Buffalo Bulls looked to finish their season with a win in the Camellia Bowl against Georgia Southern. Quarterback Cole Snyder threw for 265 yards and a touchdown to give the Bulls the lead. And kicker Alex McNulty hit three field goals to put this one away. After the 0-3 start, the Bulls hang on to win their third straight bowl game and finish the year at 7-6. And, and lastly, way back at the kickoff of bowl season, UConn was looking for a winning season for the first time since 2010. Jim Mora has the Husky rebuild ahead of schedule, even getting to a bowl, but a tough matchup in Myrtle Beach against the thundering herd of Marshall. Marshall got out to an early 28-0 lead thanks to short fields off turnovers and a pick six. The Huskies fought back with two rushing touchdowns by Victor Rosa, but UConn stalled in Marshall territory twice in the fourth quarter to end the rally. The Huskies get trampled by the thundering herd 28-14 to finish their season 6-7. And that'll do it for your Campus Corner Bowl Wrap-Up. Thanks for watching us this season, and of course, Happy New Year.